Hello everyone, this is Daniel with Dell and Artie, and I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see what I'm doing tonight. What's going on? What's going on? Ah, What's... you just heard me talking. I didn't turn my mute on my MacBook on. <laughs> I just got home from a trip to New Hampshire. I dropped some kids off from our church at a youth retreat there called New Day, which is part of our family of churches. And... That was, a. Uh, I left, what, about 1 o'clock? One, no, what am I saying? About 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, I just got back. and wanted to come on with you guys to show you this card that I created today. Hey, D. Hi, Penny. What's going on, ladies? What are you doing tonight? Did you have fun with Christopher? I had him on in the van while I was on my way back. Um, I had someone else with me, so I was able to watch a bit. Um... It was great. Hey, Mike, what's going on, dude? I think it's the first time I've seen you on on the YouTube channel. Or no, no, it's not. Hey, Brina. Hey, Jessica. Welcome, guys. Um, do you see what I have here in front of me? Hey, Wilda. Tully's mom. <laughs> That's funny. Mike's all over the place. Can't hide from Mike. <laughs> so, I posted this in our um, Inspiration Teams group, which is uh, just for Inspiration Team members from Brutus Monroe, and Jessica asked me, I believe it was Jessica, asked me if I could um, show how I did this background on a live video, so I'm going to do that tonight with you guys. Does that sound fun? Sounds fun to me, because it was awful fun making it earlier. Hey, Connie. Hey, Madonna. Anyone else say hi? Did I get everyone? <laughs> ah, Makutu Crafting is here. You caught me. I'm so glad. So glad you're here tonight. Oh, this is so fun. This background was so fun. Stay awake, D. Go make some coffee real quick while I get the prep done. Hi, Belinda. Now, they asked me in the inspiration group if this was alcoholing, and it's not. Guess what it is? Guess what this is made from? What did I make this background with? You guys see the scraps here already. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. You ready? You make it with... Oh, Belinda. You already, you stole my thunder. You guys are so awesome. D said it too. Mike, Easter egg die. That's a, you know what? That's a, I wonder if you could use that to craft with. I used aqua pigments. You guys are right. This is a really um, strong background. Um, bright kind of, um, at the same time, it's soft, so it's, I don't know how to explain it, but I really, really, really liked the result, and I was um, very excited to share this with you. I'm going to do a blog post with this tomorrow on the Brutus Monroe website and uh, share exactly how I did it in writing, but for those of you who are with me tonight, you get to watch me do it here. Isn't that fun? I can't wait to get started, so let's do that. I'm going to take some... I have just a few sheets of this left, and I'm so sad. I'm going to have to get some more um, aqua pigment paper. I've got a link for that in the description of this webs of this uh, YouTube video. Aqua pigment paper. It is a um, 130-pound watercolor paper. That's what it is. And I'm going to take my um, blue tape, my painter's tape, and I'm going to mask out, I'm going to, not mask, I'm going to tape it down. Let's get this up where you guys can see it better. <laughs> I'm excited. I just love playing with this Igment, Igment, Igment Pacwa. Do you hear me talk? I can't even talk straight. I'm so excited. <laughs> Aqua pigments. I'm just having a great time with these. Hey, DDN, what's going on? Hey, a card day's work. 
Hello. Welcome, welcome. So we're playing with aqua pigments again tonight. I'm going to make a, for those of you who are just joining in, going to remake this card for you guys here so that you can see the process that I, I used. What's going on, everybody? How was your Friday? It was I hope it was relaxing or at least fun. I love doing this here, taping this down. It's part of the fun of making these watercolor cards. It's just uh, using up my blue tape. You know, I've had this for years in my house and didn't use it, and now I've got. I've been having so much fun playing with it. Get these to the side here for a sec. And now, I'm concerned I'm going to use it all up. <laughs> oh, you're tired, huh? You moved off. You've got six boxes filled. Oh, my. What did he make, D? D? I had chicken parm from Olive Garden. <laughs> I don't know why people hate on Olive Garden. I love it. And I live in a very Italian state with lots of amazing Italian restaurants. And I don't mind telling you, I would, I enjoy all of those amazing Italian restaurants locally, but I also enjoy very much going to Olive Garden. And I'm not embarrassed, I'm not ashamed of it. People here make fun of people who go to Olive Garden. But every time I go, it's a packed house, so there are some people, apparently, who just don't care what others think. <laughs> Pork roast, fresh carrots, mashed potatoes with dill sour. Oh, man, that sounds amazing. Madonna, if you go to my website, you will find it in the card. Um, I'll put it right here, but if you go there, you'll have it as well. This is my address. It's not a secret. So like you could find it online if you wanted to. So I just put it out there. I'm not hiding from anybody and don't have anybody that that's after me. So I just put it out there. That's for the mail call. If anyone wants to send me a birthday card, my birthday is next Thursday. And if you get me a birthday card here before then, it's going on my live video as I do a mail call live video next week. Pretty excited about it. So I taped down my background. And I put some aqua pigments here in my tray. I have magenta. You see that? Magenta, coral, let's see, there it is, and blue-green, that's what I'm using, and a little black, because I'm going to darken that blue-green up. Now these are going to make a non-traditional snowy background scene, and as I was doing it, it looked like a galaxy scene as well, so you may want to use this for not something other than a a non-traditional snowy scene, right? Uh, no worries, Madonna. I'm happy to put it out there for everyone. I love getting cards. Thanks, Mike. I can't wait to send what you see what you send me. Ooh, I love getting cards, and I don't get a whole lot of them. So because I, I guess I'm pretty new at card making in the community here. So um, you guys, I'm excited to put some cards out there. See what you guys make. Now, I used for this, I used some regular um, water color brushes, um, a bigger one, two rather large ones, let's just say that, and some water, not a lot though, because I want these colors to be really bright, and um, so I have this um, fuchsia here, and I have... Um, the coral here, right? And I have, um, I used that black. Where did I put that black and green? Here it is, right here. And I have some water here off to the side. 
So I'm going to use those tonight. I'm going to put this up here where I can see it a little better. The thing about watercolor is you're not able to reproduce something exactly, but the technique is the same. So let's move those off there. and I'm going to get started with my card, my background in here. All right. So I'm just going to lightly add some water there, spray it with a distress sprayer. And I'm going to come in and wet my brush just a little bit and grab some coral. So I'm going to start out light. And I have some coral pigment in there already, so I'm just going to mix water with it. And I'm going to start out light here. Let's add some water there. I don't want a real heavy color right now. So I'm just doing a kind of a light brush. We're going to build up the color here. So you can barely see that. I know you guys can barely see that. I'm watching the same video you are here to my left. And it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of color going down. And that's perfectly fine. We don't need it to be. So you just start out light and you got to be patient with watercolor. Did you guys see, um, I don't know if I should announce it or not. I'll let someone else announce it, but there's some really cool news tonight for the inspiration team. Maybe you've seen it. I don't know if it's out there yet or not, but I can't wait for you, you guys to see the news. I'm so happy. <laughs> yep, a new person. Oh, Ashley told you. Okay, so Ashley already said it. Yay, I'm so excited. Ashley is one of, is one of my best friends on Instagram. And I have never met her in real life. But we spend a lot of time back and forth. And she's teaching me things. And um, she's, she's taught me a ton of stuff. So pretty much... Not everything I know, but I'm just saying a lot of what I know about watercolor and photography on my cards. She's always helpful, and I'm thankful for her friendship. So I'm going to come in here and grab some of this um, aqua pigment that dried here. I believe this is, this looks more of a red. Let's see before I put it down. Yeah, that's not the exact color. So I'm going to try to rinse that out. I don't mind using some of that. I'm so excited that Ashley's joining the team. Dee Deanne, your drawings are awesome. Oh my goodness. I, I would love to see you draw me a birthday card. I know it's probably a lot of work. It would be an honor to get one of your drawings. Thank you so much for even thinking about it. <laughs> okay, so that's too red. Let's go in and, and I'm going to take some of that off of my brush. I grabbed the wrong one. So I'm going to wet this uh, fuchsia is over here. When they're dry, they look different. So yes, this is definitely the fuchsia over here. So I'm going to get this uh, fuchsia nice and mushed in and wet and we're gonna go over see this is drying a lot already which is fine so um i just kind of splotch it in right here and we're layering this right we don't want it to be too strong so see some of those are really strong areas there i'm just gonna pick that up with let's spray it with my water and I'll just pick some of that up with my paper because we're going to layer this, right? Now, I'm going to dry this with a heat gun. Oh, I know, isn't it? It's just growing. I'm so excited. A hard day's work. Is that Jessica? See, I don't know you by your, your blog name. Is that Jessica? Forgive me for not knowing that. Oh, 
ODDM, do whatever you like. Whatever is inspiring to you. I know I'm new to this whole little group here, but um, if there's anything that I've done or said that you remember, and if not, don't even worry about it, because I will just totally love whatever you send, because it's, I'm sure it's made from the heart. All right, so I've got that completely dry, and I'm already loving it. It's coming just along just the way I want it. So now I'm going to add a little more coral to this. So I'm going to come in and put some water in here in this little well. I was laughing at that, DDN. Didn't you do, did you post, you haven't posted that, but you put up something funny I was laughing at earlier. And I'm thinking this drawing of DDNs is just right up my alley. So I'm going to come in here with a little bit of coral. I'm going to splotch that right up there like that. And, uh, and this is going to dry. So it's getting a little darker. We're building color here. I'm going to spray it with water because the water is going to kind of let it uh, move around a little bit. And I'm going to dry that. I love how watercolor can build on top of each other and the splotchiness that it creates is really fun it's really beautiful when it does that my heat gun's rattling inside is that a good is that a bad sign brand new, so I hope it's not going on. Gotta get these uh, areas dry. Deanne, I know I saw something funny that you made. It was, I was thinking that's right up my alley. I'm going to pick up some of that. All right. So down here, I'm going to go with fuchsia. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of the coral in my brush, which is fine. As I come in and pick up this fuchsia color. I'm going to add a, not fuchsia, is it fuchsia or magenta? I mixed them all up, I think I mixed them. I know I used fuchsia in this other one, so let's uh, add some there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm sure. Hmm, yeah, Belinda, it makes you wonder, right? So now I'm going to come in here with this uh, fuchsia color. And I'm just going to come around, just splotch it in, just like I did the coral. And I want to be impatient and dry it just like that. But I need to take some of this up and build that color up. So... Don't hate me because I picked almost all of it up just now. We'll add a little bit in there, a little bit more. Just like that. Spray it, kind of move it around a little bit. I just bumped the camera last time. Sorry. So this is kind of a lighter part here, 
and uh, it's lighter up here. So I'm going to come in and get my um, blue green going here. Take this brush and the blue green color goes right there. That looks really blue though. No, it goes right here. This is where it goes. And I darken it up with a little black pigment. So I'm going to do like three drops of the blue green and then I'm going to do one drop of black. One, two, three. Oh, no. I'm just going to do a lot of green. <laughs> Did you see that? One, two, three, and then whoosh, all the rest of it. Ooh, it's the color of your wine. Oh, you're having some wine tonight, Annie? Two drops of black. All right. I'm just going to mix that up with my brush. Add just a little bit of water my brush and mix those colors those pigments now I'm gonna wet this again so now I'm using a, a different um, palette tonight for snow you don't usually see this palette for snow but um, it is fun so I'm just going to come in and dab this here and around, right there, come down here, and then add some up in here, not a lot, then I'm going to pick it up, because we're layering, right? Cranberry juice, cran cherry juice. Thanks, Amy. That's so sweet. Juice is juice, huh? <laughs> I like to drink wine, but it makes me sleepy, so I'm not great at I'm not great at drinking alcohol. I do sometimes, but I'm just, if I want to be 100% there, I cannot drink a lot. I have to be about my wits. <laughs> 